This is the key to quiz seven. So the first question is, given the square root function, part A, sketch uh, the function on 2 to 5. So for part A, square root of x, looks something like this. And then we're just interested on it between 2 and 5. So from 2 to 5. So just this much. <clears throat> so part B We're requested now to revolve that around the axis. So the picture now looks like something like that and then my attempt to make it look three-dimensional <laughs> so it's this solid uh, bowl shaped object now find the volume of the solid of revolution. So the formula is integral a to b pi f of x squared dx. So in this particular exercise, that's integral 2 to 5 pi squared of x squared dx. So that's integral 2 to 5 pi x dx. So that is pi over 2 x squared evaluated from 2 to 5. So that's pi over 2 multiplied by 25 minus 4 <coughs> which is 21 pi over 2 <coughs> exercise 2 find the average value okay so the formula is 1 over b minus a integral a to b f of t dt on this particular exercise that would be 1 over 3 minus 1 integral 1 to 3 3t three squared plus 2t plus 8 dt So that would be half. And then the antiderivative of this is t cubed plus t squared plus 8t, and then evaluate from 1 to 3. So that's half. So plugging in 3, that's 27 plus 9 plus. 24 minus 
1 plus 1 plus 8. So that's half. <coughs> 27 plus 9 is 36 plus another 24 is 56 plus 4 is 60 so that would be 60 minus 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10 60 minus 10 is 50 over 2 is 25 <clears throat> Part three, we're given a story with a silly product, grape flavored chairs. Sales is given by this function. Find the average sales over the first four years. Okay, so the average will be integral one over four minus zero, zero to four. S of t dt. <clears throat> so that would be 1 over 4 integral 0 to 4 t square root t squared plus 1 dt. <clears throat> so this, if we are going to use the fundamental theorem. The antiderivative is slightly interesting here because we'll need a substitution. So I'll do the substitution. A is t squared plus 1 so that dA is 2t dt. So then dA over 2 is t dt. And a evaluated at the lower limit, 0 is 1, and A evaluated at the upper limit, 4, is 17. So for students who are a bit thrown off by me using A instead of U, the reason why I'm doing that is just to break you of the notion that U is somehow special as a letter you can use any letter that you like uh, to perform the substitution. So making that substitution that would be a fourth integral 1 to 17 square root of a and then dA over 2 so the division by 2 can come out Then we'll have the square root of a, and we'll need to compute its antiderivative. Well, square root of a is fractional exponent half, so this would be a to 3 halves, divide by 3 halves, evaluated from 1 to 17. <clears throat> I'll combine these constants. Division by 3 halves is multiplication by 2 thirds, and 2 thirds multiplied by 1 eighth like this 8 to 3 halves 1 to 17 so 1 eighth times 2 thirds there's a cancellation and we get 1 twelfth and then evaluate this that would be 17 to 3 halves minus 1 to 3 halves which is 1 twelfth times 17 to 3 halves minus 1 because 17 to 3 halves doesn't work out nicely uh, as an integer so then <clears throat> plugging this into the machine this would be 17 carat 3 over 2 minus 1. So that's 5.7577 dot dot dot. And that's the answer to the exercise. <clears throat>